the society we live yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. We live in this system, and that's why I was trying to say earlier, it all comes down to this system. Anybody will do, for the most part, anything for the money. And I don't just mean people that's pimping themselves out on TV or like, or even really just, you know, selling their bodies. I'm talking about people that go to a job every day that they hate. You sold out too. We all sell out. You selling out. You're going to some, something that you don't like. Why? So you can live and survive. Life is, to me, life don't feel like it's supposed to be like that no more. You know what I mean? It don't, it don't feel right. It don't feel like, feel like somebody's time got to be worth more than $8 an hour. You spend your whole day going to work, eight hours out of your day. Day is only 24 hours. You're going to sleep eight of those. So right away, that's 16 hours. Half of your day is make it eight dollars an hour even if you get 15 an hour and they trying to raise minimum wage like what to 15 my an hour of my life is worth 15 dollars okay but i i gotta do it yeah i gotta work i gotta eat you work at, you on a plantation man and basically what i'm telling you right now what i realize is like the, the monetary the material even the success and like the things that you put your, you place your importance on uh -huh. never can satisfy you and ever make you happy because they never end there's never, you can never, there's no amount of money that will ever make you stop if money is what you care about. You'll keep going. Oh, I got a million, gotta get 10, got 10, gotta get 100, got 100, gotta get five, got five, gotta get a billion. If it's cars, you'll never have enough cars. If it's women, you'll never have enough. You'll be chasing them forever. If it's success, you can never get enough of that. I realize that it's like, it doesn't stop. It keeps calling you, it's like a drug. It's a hamster wheel. It's a hamster wheel. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're never satisfied, but if you place your importance on this, which is like appreciation, appreciation, love, you know, it's like that, that is, that is enough. Mm. There's enough of that in everybody's life right now. If they just took the time to look in my life, I just took the time to look around people that's around me, the things that are around me, like the, the, the blessings I have. And that goes for everybody. The homeless man on the street can still wake up and go, man, I'm alive. I got my limbs. I got my limbs. I got my fingers. Like, my man just gave me a dollar, he ain't have to do that. Like, you know what I mean? It's like he, he has things that he can appreciate. And, and we can, if we look for those things, to those things for happiness, mm. then it's attainable. If we look to the other things for happiness, it's never attainable. You have, to look, you have to stop looking at what you don't have and what's not happening for you and start appreciating like what you do actually have. Like, my man, you got on a nice watch. Like, your hat is fresh. Like, you're in New York City. It's the land of opportunity. You know what I mean? You're a good looking guy. I'm sure you got maybe a girlfriend. Like, there's a lot of things, your family. There's a lot of things to be grateful for. And that's the only way you can climb out of like a place of focusing on what you don't have is by focusing on like, man, what do I have to be thankful for? And everybody got something to be thankful for. Even a homeless man, if he wanted to, he could be like, yo, I'm breathing today. Like. You know what I mean? Like my arms work, my legs work. You can start very small, and that that it's gonna it's a process, but that's how you can get about like of a negative space like that. Say what's on your mind, speak what's in your heart, and how you really feel. You, when you're trying to be something else, when you're trying to fit into what's going on, it's like you kind of stray away from your path a little bit. Um, and sometimes you want to ex expand your style and like grow, and that's always good. But like never veer too far from who you are. You know, as a as a person. This thing is a long distance race. This business is a long distance thing. You want to be relevant, you want to be around, you want to be providing for your family 10, 15, 20 years from now. You just said Jay Z's about to be 44. He put out his first album when he was 25. That's 20 years of relevancy, you know, and like, I'm just. So that's what it teaches me, being around all of these guys, even Uncle Wes, like been in this for a, a, a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's been around the game of basketball for a long time. It's, it's, it's longevity. It's not, so when I make decisions, whether which single, uh, this show or that show or this tour, should I get on this feature? Should I take this money to do this song? Or should I make my decisions more calculated about, is this something that's going to be, like, does this further my career or does this, you know, I, I think about things in that, in that manner. What does this do for me in the long run?